So diagnosing a misfire on some vehicles, sometimes you might suspect that it's the fuel injector that's giving you problems. You need to check it both electrically and mechanically to see whether or not it's working properly or maybe you have a stuck fuel injector. So we're going to show you a couple quick easy ways to do it using a lab scope. Let me go start the car and we'll analyze the pattern. All right, pause this real quick and I'll go shut the vehicle off. All right, so let's take a look at what we captured here. The yellow line is the voltage going through that fuel injector and the green line is the amperage going through this fuel injector. So if I take a measurement at cursor one for the voltage, we should see pretty close to alternator voltage. So 13.5 volts, that's pretty good. Then this squared off corner right here is where the PCM takes and grounds that fuel injector to turn it on. So measurement at cursor two, eh, roughly ground. So it's gonna change slightly from, uh, depending on where we put it. So that's pretty darn close to ground. So if I take cursor one, put it there, cursor two, and put it at the end of that ground period, that's gonna give us our injector pulse width. So 2.28 milliseconds in this case. So alternator voltage comes in, PCM grounds it for a set amount of time, the pulse width. If I take cursor two and move it over, that's all of that voltage that was just stored inside of that fuel injector. And it, once it releases the ground, all that voltage goes back into the line. We're looking at 117.3 volts in this case. And then over here, we're gonna see another little bump. We'll call that coil oscillation. That's the voltage just ringing back and forth within that coil. And then the voltage should go back to about alternator voltage. Now, as far as the current flowing through, they should ramp up at about the same time as the PCM grounds that injector. It shouldn't have a real high squared off ramp. That'll indicate high resistance and a lot of amperage trying to open that injector. Maybe the injector's sticking. If we look about halfway up this ramp right here, there's a little dip. That dip is the point where the fuel injector is actually opening and starting to spray fuel. And then this is a current limited injector, so once it gets to a set current that the PCM dictates, it's just gonna level off and then close at the same time that the injector closes. Now if this wasn't a current limited injector, you'd see it continue up like a shark fin until the ground is released. So as you can see, just by doing a couple quick little tests on a fuel injector, you can see how it's working both electrically and mechanically, and that'll help you narrow it down when you think you might have a misfiring fuel injector.